Hello my beautiful people. Welcome back to another gorgeous evening in the garden. The temperatures are lovely. It's nice and cool. I'm really enjoying this fall weather which made me start thinking of a kind of a fall color palette. So that's what we're going to be working with tonight. I have a 24 by 24 inch gallery wrap canvas. I have taped the back and put my push pins in and I have painted my sides and edges with my flow extender base coat color which is the titanium white. So. Let's move that over and I'll show you the rest of the colors. The first one we're using is this beautiful thing. This is Golden's Quinacridone Crimson. Absolutely beautiful color. Gorgeous depth. Like cherry juice or something like that. <laughs> really, really yummy. Not very thick tonight. Kind of leaving a small mound and then sinking into itself pretty much. My pouring medium tonight is Mix Pour. You can get your own mix pour by emailing Krista at Krista8974 at gmail.com and she will hook you up. Beautiful stuff. Okay. Uh, the next color we are using is also golden. This is Nickel Azo Gold. Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold. And this is a weird one. It's an odd duck, as they would say. I would never in a million years pick this color. <laughs> But it doesn't stay like this. When this interacts with other colors, it does magical things. So this is our Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold from Golden. Okay. Then we have one of ones that has become my favorites recently. This is Amsterdam Bronze. Absolutely beautiful color. Dries so beautifully and gorgeously. I just love this stuff. And then we have my usual suspect, my Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. My blingy friend. Beautiful. And the, you know, the thing I like about Mix a lot is there's almost this like elasticity to it, which is really, really nice. And then we also have um, Amsterdam Titanium White as our base coat flow extender. Okay, we're gonna be using this Tracy Reed split cup with the handle. This is four chambers. Um, so I, the idea that I had, and I saw my friend Fiona from Fiona Art doing something similar to this a few videos back, that she had only filled the split cup up like two thirds of the way and then flooded the top of it with what was going to be her base coat color. And it was really, really beautiful. And I kind of want to do that tonight with the white as the top part. So almost like a sandwich, but I guess kind of an open faced sandwich. <laughs> so. To that end, we're going to actually put some bronze on the outer chamber. And like I said, I'm not filling these up all the way, I'm about two thirds of the way. And then I'm going to put the quinacridone crimson in there, also filling it up about two thirds of the way. And then we're going to put, hmm. okay, we're just going to go for it. I'm gonna put the nickel as of gold in there. And the next one. A little bit more. Okay. And then we're gonna put the gold in the last chamber. And I have found that what's on the outer two chambers shows up a lot more. So in this case, maybe it'll be the bronze and the gold. So now, this comes the weird part. We're gonna take the titanium white and we're gonna go on top of all of those colors. Okay, to cover them up as it were. We'll see what happens. Hopefully it'll be really, really cool. This is a 24 by 24 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. Okay, I'm gonna pour a puddle of white in the center and then I'm also going to pour a puddle of the gold in the middle of that. And then I'm going to put some bronze in there too because why not. Okay, so here we go. We're going to do a straight pour from up high and because this is kind of a big old honking battleship of a cup I'm going to support it with my right hand, my left hand also. Are you ready husband of awesomeness? Yes my love. So we're going to pour this from up high, and we're going to do a straight pour. 
I see that white is coming out. So that's giving us our base coat with just little wispies of color that are now starting to come out. And we'll stay up high. That's really pretty so far. And the cup off the side. Whew, that's a lot of paint. That's really pretty in there. And now you see the nickel as a gold coming in as that orangey tone. Well, see, it's really pretty in this. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to go around this with a little bit of gold first. I should have probably made up another cup of my flow extender, so that's why I might use some of the colors that I have left over as the flow extender. Okay. So not really enough white in there to actually be like a sandwich for, but we'll see if it, this part's really pretty in there too, so we'll see. Like Fiona says, if you don't try, you don't know, right? So, we give it a try. Let's tilt this out a little bit. Let me look at it for a second first. I really love this, and I like this, and I like this colors over in here. are really, really pretty, and that's really pretty too. This is one thing to people who are just starting out. I'd say after you pour something, it behooves you to wait a minute or two. Just let it kind of percolate, let the cells come up, let it sort of shift into where its density is gonna be so you see what's actually happening before you start tilting. And also take a moment to look at it and see what you like. You know, if I hate that part, I don't wanna keep that part. I wanna tilt the parts that I don't like off and keep the parts that I do like. So it's important to look at it and see what you like. I do love this line with the red right in there. There are a lot of air bubbles, so I'm going to torch it lightly. Alright, let's tilt this out and see what happens. I think I want to go over this corner first and anchor that. So I'm just going to kind of walk it down the canvas a bit. both to keep the composition kind of intact and to distribute the colors around. Like I'm actually not happy that I might lose a lot of that crimson. Oh, that can't be helped though. Okay. But we're gonna stretch that out now. I'm gonna take it down to that other corner since the way the paint is all up here. Down and back towards the center and come down to that other corner over there. Bring it down. 
Wow, the Quinacrid and Crimson's got this beautiful, like, transparent thing happening. It's really pretty. Fire! Boom, 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 boom. One of these days I'll get your flames the way you want them, baby. <laughs> right there so I'm just gonna put a little bit more paint over here and we're gonna go off that nice and easy it's like a firestorm Okay, this is kind of cool. Um, there's some things that I really love. There's some things that I'm not really in love with. <laughs> um, I do like the colors. I love that crimson. It's beautiful. Um, the nickel as a gold behaved and did what I wanted and created a really beautiful color I think because it was next to the gold and then we have the bronze in there also so it's not that baby poop color it's a metallic sparkly what happened over there how did that happen it's a kind of a metallic sparkly orange which is very pretty so we're just going to take care of that edge real quick and then we will look at this yeah, but the only thing I could have touched was the table. That's alright. There's enough paint to fix it. Better stuff like that happens now while you have enough paint on there than after you're all done and everything's all stretched out. Fast. And this is fine with me to get off some of the extra paint that's on here, it's okay. It's just now starting to move. I really love this right here, it's so cool. And I like the top edge, I love those colors. Okay. Do you think we're done, each other? I do indeed. Just up this edge a little bit more. There we go. That's pretty cool. Alright. The thing that I'm not crazy about are the white cells popping up, but that's okay. If we try to tilt, we could probably tilt them off, but then it would just make more cells on the other side from being stretched out. I'm going to torch this again real fast. Not a lot, just lightly. There's a lot of transparency in this happening between the gold and the bronze and the Nicolazzo gold and that quinacridone crimson, which is really, really beautiful. So I'm happy with this one. This looks really cool on the corner. I really like all the edges. Okay, I'm going to stop now because <laughs> I can play all day. Anyway, this was awesome. I'm really happy with the way this one turned out so far. Uh, I will show you guys when it's dry. Thank you so much for being here with us today. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. We'll be right back. Oh my 
my goodness. So this one dried really pretty. This is so cool up in here. I just love. Oh, here's Gail. Hello, Gail. <laughs> Hope you can hear me still. I love how this part turned out. This like cloudy, poofy part with those kind of bouldery cells on that beautiful corner. These colors just played so beautifully together. That nickel as a gold with the crimson is just gorgeous. And the gold and the bronze in there. A little bit of white. So I don't know that putting all the white on the surface made a huge, huge difference. I'm definitely going to have to play with that some more. But it was interesting to try and I love the effects that are created like in here it's just so pretty i love all the edges on this are just gorgeous so i'm really happy with this it's kind of like star fire or something like that <laughs> thanks for being here with us today i hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful weekend uh, please check out fluid art boutique website at www.fluidartboutique.com i am teaching there october 8th 9th and 10th of 2022 uh, in Delray Beach, Florida. And then in November, I will be in Dallas at the Fluid Art Experience. That website is www.fluidartexperience.com. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. I can't wait to see you guys. Love you a lot. We'll be back. Bye-bye. Have a great weekend. Till the morning, morning You never know when it is over, over All that I know is we'll get older, older So let us dance this side away The groove and the light, the flicker. We get lost in the crowd, it's getting thicker. All that I know is we'll get older, older. So let us dance this side away. We get lost in the crowd, it's getting thicker. We get away, get away from the drinks and chatter. Haven't said a word, but it doesn't matter. Feel the air again, then Standing in a very dream. No one else can see us. Live your life within the moment. Till the morning, morning You never know when it is over, over All that I know is we'll get older, older So let us dance this night away